it's extraordinarily humbling and um, uh, I mean it's it's kind of beautiful in a way that as creators we get to do something that's um, true to our hearts and then other people pick up on that same sort of passion. We're taking all these risks with the game and making a more complicated game, a more nuanced story than we've ever done before and it's something we really wanted to play but we had no idea what the public, how they would react to it. And of course it was really, really exciting for us to see that people didn't just buy into it but they were really excited about the world and the story and the themes and the subtext that we were putting into it. Really, people just got the game 100%. You know, as, a, as an artist, as a creator, you want to, you want people to love your work. You, know, you want to cause some emotional reactions. So uh, it just kind of leads us and encourages us to keep going in the directions that inspire us. The Last of Us American Dreams, the graphic novel we released through Dark Horse, co-created by Faith Aaron Hicks, the co-writer and uh, amazing artist on the, that comic book. And it introduces the character of Riley. And in it, we get to see kind of Ellie coming out of her shell and she starts taking on these attributes from Riley, but it's just, it's the first day they meet. And it became really interesting to us to say, okay, months later, after these two have become best friends and they've had this falling out, where does that relationship go? In discussing ideas, it's like, what if we got to play through that kind of relationship? What if we saw that relationship? And it gives us an opportunity to test out various mechanics and storytelling ideas that maybe we couldn't test on the scale of the full game, but doing it in a smaller time frame allows us to try out these ideas and say, okay, that's interesting. How did that work? The comic book was kind of a great way to see a little bit of what Ellie and Riley's relationship was. So when we set out to design the world, we already had a point of reference that there had already been some great work done just in terms of some of the visuals and, and some of the language between Riley and Ellie. I think we had a sound story pretty early on that we felt was compelling enough to, to okay, that justifies us moving forward with the idea of single player DLC. Now you have a team of some burnt out, frazzled people that you're trying to say like, okay guys, let's go again. Can we do it again? And that's a lot. That's a lot to ask of anybody after three and a half years of grind. We kind of right away knew we wanted to focus on Ellie. We wanted to tell a little bit more about who she was before all this. We also felt like some people were wondering what, what happened in that time span between when Joel gets really injured and then you play as Ellie. And I felt like I wanted to meet Riley. Like I want, I want to know her. I read a little bit from like, like the comics and you kind of had this image in your head in the character but you kind of really don't meet them until you start to see them. You know, once you get the actor in there, once you get these people, they really start to come out. All this time I thought you were dead. Yeah. It was interesting sort of this time around to be with someone new. When Yanni came in during casting, I was like, that's totally, that's totally who I saw in the comic book. That's totally her, that's totally who I heard. You need to cast her. I was a bit intimidated to kind of come on to something that's so big. It's different, you know, Ashley started with it and you're, you know, coming in, I guess, you know, as a sophomore, you know what I mean? Like, you feel like, oh gosh, am I gonna fit in? And then will I really be able to live up to the standard that's so high? With The Last of Us, we got to see the events that led to who Joel is during the game. We never get to see that with Ellie. With Ellie, you know, we're already, we're picking her up at the, at the outset of the journey. Uh, what this DLC really allowed us to do is focus on Ellie's life prior to the, that journey. And we get to see, you know, she's just a kid, ultimately. It, despite, you know, the journey she's about to go on, you get to see her have fun and you get to see her playing with her best friend and you get to see her be romantic with someone. You definitely see a very different side to Ellie. Being with another teenage girl sort of brings out that playfulness and that silliness that you, you see glimpses of that with Joel, but um, you know, it's different hanging out with a 40 year old dude. You know Ellie as this like really tough, strong kid that has gone through so many crazy things and has seen so many things to this other side of her, a little bit more vulnerable. 
softer side of her through the eyes of Riley. So it's a really interesting relationship there because you get to see somebody who really influenced who Ellie is and taught her how to survive and be strong. And then you see that, that, that playful Ellie and you see the events that are shaping her and changing her and how she loses the one person in this world that she cares for. And then you understand why she's willing to fight tooth and nail to not lose Joel. She already lost this person that she loved. She's not about to let it happen again. There was a lot of gameplay where we kind of challenged ourselves to say, okay, how do we add tension? How do we add core mechanics to two teenage girls that have snuck out of this military dorm and are being playful at the mall. There are large portions where there is no combat, where we're really focusing on the narrative connection between you and an allied character. What's really important to us is how we parallel the player's emotional experience in the characters and vice versa. We want you to always be feeling the way that the characters are feeling. <sighs> We look at contrast a lot whenever we're in trying to create pacing of things. And you know, you, you can't have your lights without your darks, your highs without your lows. So while we're looking at the Ellie storyline, we also want to contrast that with what's happening in the desperation of Joel. So the combat is kind of an extension of the obstacles, the barriers inside of her way that she needs to overcome. <laughs> Something new we wanted to do with the combat this time was we introduced David's people, sort of the cannibals in the university. By pulling, pulling David's crew into the mall, we also thought it would be intriguing to, to create some new technology where we had the infected fight the humans. We developed a number of setups, combat setups, during the DLC where the player has the opportunity to pit those two sides against each other. And for us, this was really interesting because this allows you to use one faction as a weapon against the other. Now you're able to use these distractions almost as bait or as uh, lures. So that creates this whole new, uh, whole new way to think about a combat space and to think about ways that you move around. But it still drives home that idea that it's a desperate world and you're, you're trying to survive in it. The main themes that we're playing with, I think, are, are love and loss and, on some level, devotion. What lengths do you go to to protect the ones that you care about? If you never know if you're going to die tomorrow, in the next hour, in the next few minutes, every moment spent with those you love is a moment to cherish. The relationship between Ellie and Joel, um, you know, it dealt with survival, it dealt with loyalty, and ultimately it dealt with love. The love of a, a parent to a child or a child to a parent. Um, the DLC is not that different. In this world, all you really have are your relationships and your friends. I mean, that becomes everything. And I think that's sort of reiterated in the DLC. One of the great things about Last of Us was how much people related to Ellie and enjoyed Ellie and saw her as this strong, uh, strong character. And here we'll get to see how her time with Riley has become that and something that propelled her to be able to go on this journey with, uh, with Joel.